Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be looking at the ocean sunfish. If you like learning facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. There are technically four types of ocean sunfish. The common mola, the sharp-tailed mola, who as the name implies has a pointed tail, the slender mola, who only grows to a few feet in length, and the mola ramsey, which I think I'm saying right, who looks a bit like the common mola, but is classified differently and found in different regions. This episode will be focusing on the most well-known of the ocean sunfish, the mola mola, or the common mola. The common mola is in fact the world's largest bony fish and holds the records for carrying more eggs than any other vertebrate. A female was found with over 3 million eggs in just one of her ovaries. That's 300 times more than the average female human. They can house so many eggs because their eggs are smaller than 2 millimeters across, which is small enough to fit inside the circle currently on the screen. By adulthood, they can reach lengths of over 10 feet. The average common mola weighs over 2,000 pounds. The heaviest recorded mola mola discovered was 5,071 pounds. For reference, that's almost as much as an Asian elephant. In reality, we aren't even sure how big they can get. One mola mola kept in Monterey Bay Aquarium gained 800 pounds in just 14 months. The fish had to be airlifted back to the ocean after it outgrew its tank. Helicopters, for when Weight Watchers just isn't cutting it. They can be found nearly anywhere around the world in temperate and tropical waters. The common mola is usually solid gray in color, although some can sport mottled spots while others appear almost white. They can also change color if they feel threatened. Some even look iridescent or shiny. Their skin is rough and has been described by Tierney Thighs, a scientist who has studied them extensively, as being similar to 36 grit sandpaper. The skin of one mola that was struck by a boat actually scraped the hull's paint away down to the metal. They also produce mucus that covers their bodies. It's no wonder they're not part of the food industry in most parts of the world. Guess we didn't get the memo on snails though. Common mola are hosts to a number of parasites. They have been seen rising to the surface of the ocean and letting birds pick the intruders off of them. They also jump up to 10 feet out of the ocean and slam back down into the surface just to try to help dislodge their parasites. One mola was even found with barnacles in its esophagus. It couldn't be determined whether or not the relationship was mutual or if it was harmful to the mola, although speculation was made that it would make eating more difficult. Poor mola. The common mola possesses a variety of nicknames, including moonfish, cut short, and my personal favorite, swimming head. Their true name, mola mola, means millstone in Latin and was probably bestowed in part to their relatively round shape. The name sunfish comes from their behavior of staying near the surface of the ocean and literally sunning themselves. For a long time, scientists believed this was all the mola could do, just aimlessly float around, their fins relatively useless. But more recently, it's been discovered that they're actually adept swimmers and dive to depths of nearly 3,000 feet, hunting jellyfish, crustaceans, hydrozoans, and fish. It's been suggested that they sun themselves to help regulate their body temperatures after diving into colder water. How long they can live is still a mystery, although some have been successfully housed in aquariums for more than a decade. The common mola is somewhat of an elusive creature, but they're making a splash in more mainstream media, including video games such as Endless Ocean Blue World for the Wii and Nintendo's Animal Crossing series. They're also the stars of a Japanese mobile game called Survive, where the object of the game is to become the biggest mola in all of the seas. For more information on the common mola or the ocean sunfish, feel free to browse through my citations in the description below. Let me know which animal you'd like to see next in the comments. Thanks for watching and give a thumbs up for more animal fact files.